Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, PE Design to create an embroidery file for Brother Machines. First thing you want to do is go to the Design Center. And right here, this is where you can upload your image file. It can be a JPEG, anything that you create in Photoshop or a picture. Um, so here we go. I'm going to use this one. It's a file I created. It's resizing it for me, so there it is. First thing you have to do is you got to go up right here. You gotta change it to a line image before you can do anything else. And then, if you have multiple colors, this is where you pick your colors. Um, I only have black. If you had more, you would click on each one, and these would all fill in with the colors. If you were gonna do a uh, multicolor embroidery design, here we go. Um, Let's see, so once we're here, so once we're here, we have to next convert the line image to a figure handle. Um, you know, you can choose the resolution, normal, coarse, um, all these have different properties you can do, I just hit OK, there we go. So if you want to change how the design looks, if it's not exactly right, you can zoom in, let's say, uh, oh gosh, right here. And see how that's not straight, you can go to the points here. I'll just delete that one, smooth it out a little bit. Um, and you can do this all throughout your design here. Um, because it's going to stitch exactly what points you have here. So I won't do it all right now. Okay, there we go. So next thing we have to do is go over here to sew setting. Here we go. So I want to fill this in. You can choose from the drop down menu here, satin stitch, fill stitch, motif, cross, concentric circle. If you're doing letters, you don't really want to do any of these bottom ones. That's for like larger patterns. Um, I usually use the fill stitch or the satin stitch. So you got to make sure this is selected for the region over here and you just click inside your region. There you go. This region, that region, that region. So I come back over here and I right click and you can choose all of your sewing settings. Um, under sewing, right here's the density, you can change how it looks. If you go to expert mode, you have more options. Uh, the direction, it's the direction it sews. The variable kind of does a better job of filling in the areas. Um, you can also change that to a half stitch and it shows you down here at the bottom. If you turn up this off and go back to constant, then you can change your running stitch path. Right here is your pull compensation for how much the thread might be pulled past the edge when you're sewing. Um, so there we go. So once you have those settings, you might want to do um, a running stitch along the line here so you can choose what style you want. I usually use a triple stitch. It's going to give you a thicker line and you have to click exactly on the border and on the border here, there, there to apply it to all of them. Um, if you want to change settings again you just right click on it and it shows you the run pitch. Um, there's really no other options here um, so it's how far apart your run is. Once you have all that wherever you want it. You can save the file if you wanted to save it. You don't have to. I just go ahead and import it directly into layout.
here we go, I'm gonna import it. There it is. I'm gonna zoom to the selection, and it's got all my stitches laid out. Um, if you wanna resize it, click at a corner, hold down the shift button to keep the attributes all the same. I'm gonna make it 0.5 inches, and down here at the bottom, shows you exactly how big it is. Um, and if you want to preview it, you can go up here to realistic preview. It's going to show you exactly what it looks like with the stitching. There we go. Anything you want to change, you can change. I'm going to leave it like that. So when you're done, you just go to file, save as. And then it's going to save it as a .pes, which is the brother embroidery machine format, and just give it a name. Make sure you know where you're saving it. And then you can retrieve it later when you connect your computer or thumb drive to your machine, and you just pull that file over to your machine. And that's how you do it.